crypto didn't fail FTX, people did decentralization was, and still is, the answer, says the co-founder of Near Protocol. By Ilya Pologkin Layer 2 Nov 22, 2022 at 2.24 p.m. Ukbi Ilya Pologkin Layer 2 Nov 22. 2022 at 2.24 p.m. at spectacular $32 billion collapse of the FTX exchange and its sister trading firm Alameda Research recently once again has crypto's detractors gloating in the headlines. In fact, FTX bears no resemblance to most of what the longtime believers in blockchains and Web3 are trying to build. The failure of FTX was not one of insufficient regulation nor of a corrupted code base, but a human failure. Rather than condemning crypto, FTX demonstrates that truly decentralized, transparent and open Web3 technologies can better protect users and support a more fair and more resilient digital financial system. Here's why. Ilya Pologkin is a co-founder of Near Protocol and Unchained Fund. There was nothing decentralized or transparent about Sam Bankman-Fried's FTX empire. In reality, FTX bears a lot more resemblance to the overleveraged institutions that failed in 2008 than it does to what most of the blockchain industry is building. The reason is simple, it is centralized and therefore restrictive in participation, owned by few, governed by even fewer. The platform controls the order books and users' funds, holding reserves within its own vaults. Bitcoin, the first blockchain, allows peer to peer value transfer between two parties anywhere in the world without the need for an intermediary like a corporation or a bank. Ethereum introduced programmable smart contracts to this paradigm, allowing entire follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.